Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to Stocks with Show Live Recap of the plays of the day today. Let's go through everything, shall we? Let's just go through the whole shebang, okay? Shona, top watch today, worked. Held it very, very late. I'm out of this by now. you got to be out of stuff uh, within the last 10 minutes of the day, although I did hold this. I held this a long time. Um, and this could continue even down lower this evening, by the way. I, this is what should have gone to 421 today. It just broke very late. Um, been up on it all day. Held it, did the ad, did everything right with this. Unfortunately, it just did took a long time to get going here. Otherwise, this would be at $20 with the market falling today. But I don't trade and do the uh, overnights, and I don't do the post-market, but this is lower. So let's just take a look at this one here. Stock set up early. Gave it a good, I really did it. I did everything right with this today. Took the trade, did the ad, held the whole thing. And it helped, uh, it, it, it helped to do that. Here we go. Set up, drop, had the ad in here in the five minute. Rallied up, set up, did the ad, dropped. Stuck with it, stuck with it, stuck with it, stuck with it, lowered the stop, followed all the way through. Again, all in here, this looks so amazing. Any second, any minute, I thought it would continue and break and fall. This, it was just exhausted. It was just really so tired. It was, it just was tired. It was tired of everything that it did. And yet it was still a short and it was a good short and it was a nice 80 some cents in there. And the stock typically can move two and a half, three dollars in the day. So I had expectations for this to go to uh, a, a, a good number. Uh, it just didn't make it because by the time it broke, it ran out of time. But I think this continues. It's continuing here, probably going to continue after hours. I just don't trade the post market and I need to get out of my trades before the close. But this was one of the stocks which show top watches here today in the soda. Nice, nice move in this. Follow through. Here, here's a good example of why you don't do stuff after, after hours. Look at the spread in this. Let's just, I'll just show you this here while we're sitting here. Now, I'm already out. But see, if I hadn't gotten out and I still had the trade on, trying to see if it go lower, which I actually think it does. You're sitting here waiting to see if it pushes down and then your spread is crazy compared to during the live day. And you don't get an automatic fill in something, and you can't put in stops, and it's just a whole different way to trade. Sometimes you get big moves and stuff like that if you're doing the pre-market in the morning, and even at night sometimes when things are moving or gapping, but it's just not my cup of tea. Not my cup of tea. Here is the Cree. Cree was a beautiful move in here today. Fabulous move. Amazing move. Beautiful follow through in Cree. Love this thing. Again, Held this a long time too. I was aware of the fact that I was going to be holding soda today, so I decided to do a late trading cream. You could have done an aggressive morning trading cream. I did the late setup in cream. I felt a high level of conviction would go to $32. Not only did it do that, it broke 32 and went all the way down to the next number. This is heading right to 31. This, this 31 was a dream target the day of the original gap back here from a few days ago. And, and actually, if it wasn't four o'clock, this would have kept going and would have gotten to 31 today. You can see how this actually fell into the close. Look at that. So again, I've got to be out of my stuff before the before the close. I don't carry overnight, but Cree is definitely lower. Heading down to 31 and possibly $30. I don't know if it's going to bounce before it gets to 30, but it might just drop. If it wasn't 4 o'clock or the close of the market, Cree would have gotten to 31 today for sure. Just like soda would have gotten to 20 today for sure, because but it broke so late. So it's very rare that I would be holding stuff this late. But these two trades paid extremely well to do that. But Cree had a nice aggressive morning move. Okay? So you could have done the morning move, been all out, retaken it. Here, let's go through that. You could have done that same thing with soda, actually. On the ad that I did in soda, you could have done a new setup. Open, drop, break. You could have got all out here. This move in here is a nice, nice move. Look at that. Ooh, there it goes. All right. So you could have done this move in here and then retaken the Cree in the afternoon and the, or the late morning. You know, just a, just a nice follow through with the Cree here today, a nice follow through with the soda today. Uh, there were other things that I rated today, other things in the stock swoosh top pick list today as well. I really 
today felt like earnings season, the start of the whole thing, but it really is was fall trading today. This was like felt like fall today. Fall and fall trading and a million things to do. And you can even hold stuff in the afternoon if you're up and you're just getting paid more. But earnings season starts Wednesday evening. Wednesday night earnings season starts and gonna just review everything then at that time and see where we're at. Actually, I'm going to do a market review here next. I'm going to do a market video next here to review the market. But I knew the market was going to fall today when I read uh, the gap. And so it was a day that you could have been short a lot of things and held them to targets. I think pretty much every short went to the target today, uh, except for a very, very few things. It was a nice day to, to see some red in the market and to get paid on it. And if you like to short, which I do, it was a prime, prime day to follow stuff through. I always do gaps, though, and I found that gaps have such nice entries. Gaps, one of the reasons I love my system is also for the entries, not just the fact that it tells me what to do with the directional bias and the right pick, which I, I got, I got, I had great picks today and everything, uh, but for the entries, to know for the setup. Because a lot of things, if you're just looking to short stuff today, sometimes they set up fail, set up again fail, and you have to take them two or three times before they go, and then you're down two or three hours before they go. I, that happens occasionally in gaps that I watch, but not that often. Not that often. When something rates 20 points or more, when the first setup, you take it, it holds. That's exactly what happened in the Cree today, what happened in the soda today, and these had some nice moves in them. So follow through in the Cree is likely, soda as well. Nice, nice, solid day in the stocks will show live trading room today. The Golden Gap class is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. If you'd like more information on that, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone. Really looking forward to from now until the rest of the year. Just a beautiful, solid trading in here. I have a nice methodology I'm able to put into practice now in the fall here and with these gaps to get some follow through when the market running red. I'm just maximized myself all over the planet today. <laughs> so have a great evening, everyone.